welcome back to Era Quinn Caledrum Monster Mash. Here we are with Gwai here and the Mordor Troll Chieftain. And we are in the elimination rounds right now. We have broken all our monsters off into two pools. This is the B pool, second group of monsters. Um, Gwai here came out real high and the Mordor Troll Chieftain didn't do as well. Uh, they're actually fairly comparable in point cost though. So we're going to review these guys. We'll tell you a little bit about the models, the custom dice you see there, the profiles. And then we're going to pit them in a one-on-one -on -one death match, and we'll see who comes out on top and he uh, and who progresses further in the monster mesh. So, I don't know, where should we start? We should probably start with what's on the screen, hey? Yeah. All right. So these are custom dice. We had these made by Chessex. This is a lustrous slate pattern. It's got some sort of steely, metally, and blue tones. Very, very nice icy, mountainy tones with white pips and an eagle head on there. Very here esque That's what we did for him. Ronan's holding up the Chessex Velvet Black pattern with white uh, with red pips, and we put the Eye of Sauron on there. Custom graphic we made ourselves, but yeah, really, really nice, sort of smooth, um, almost dusty, but shiny uh, black. It's, it's kind of a weird <laughs> pattern, actually. You can barely see how detailed that is on the screen. Um, but yeah, really beautiful dye patterns out of Chessex. So we're really happy with that. So Mortar Troll Chieftain's gonna be throwing Eyes of Sauron, Gwai here is going to be throwing eagle heads. This is my Gwai here proxy. I uh, don't actually have the other Gwai here model. I have the old, old one, but the plastic eagles are just so much nicer. So we're playing him. Made up a bit of a mountain base. That's just cork with snow effect on there. A couple of sprigs of uh, little grass tufts and some woodland scenics water effect down in the gap in the middle just to um, provide a little bit of a snowy watery effect. Mortar Troll Chieftain, nothing super special about him. He's just painted up on some dirt and ground. Uh, that's sort of dead ground for mortar. So these two are ready to play after we take a look at their profiles. Let's see what the rule book says about both of these guys. All right. Uh, go ahead and explain us what we've got in here, Ron. We've got Gwai here first. Um, so three inch movement in his profile, but he does have the fly special rule. So he essentially will have 12 inch movement, which means he will be the first one to engage in this monster mash. Fight 8, which is higher than the Troll Chieftain, and for that matter, most other monsters in this mash. Along with the ability to Heroic Strike to up his fight value if he needs to. Uh, strength 6, we will be giving him his faction bonus of plus 1 strength on the charge. Um, so he will go up to strength 7 and will knock prone anything that is lower strength than him because of monstrous charge. Uh, defense 8, 2 attacks, up to 3 attacks on the charge. 3 wounds, Courage 6. 3 Might, 3 Will, and 3 Fate. Uh, and then, of course, he's got Terror. Very beastly flying birdie thingy that this guy is. So Gwai here's a lot of fun. So we're going to be playing him. We're our troll chieftain. If we flip the page. All right. Um, for I don't know. I really don't know why this guy is comparable point value to Gwai here. Um, but Fight 7, Strength 7, Defense 8, 3 Attacks, 3 Wounds, Courage 4, 2 Might, 1 Will, 1 Fate, Heavy Armor, Sword, the ability to Heroic Strike, so that will probably last him a bit longer against Gwai here, and Heroic Strength. Does have Terror, does have Throw Stones, he'll never get the chance to use them because Gwai here is going to charge on the first round. But, should be interesting. The Troll Chieftain's got a pretty beastly stat line, but Gwai here just seems beastier. <laughs> so we'll see how they do. There's only 10 points difference between the two of these monsters. Uh, but, we'll throw them up against each other and get this thing started. Let's measure it out. All right. 12 inches to start them off. We'll start them at uh, the opposite ends of a 6 inch spread. So Gwai here is within charge range. The, tro the Troll Chieftain is not. Let's roll some priority. Yep. Two. Gwai here is 3 to the Troll Chieftain's 2. Are you going to do anything about that? Uh, nope. Nope. Here's Gwai here's, charge me. Gwai here's Courage Check. Snake Eyes! When does that ever happen? You are Courage 6, so unless you want to blow 2 Will, which... I have nothing have... else to do yeah. with these Will, so yes, he's going to burn 2 Will and make that a pass. We'll just move them both into the middle for the sake of the camera. So Gwai here charges. Alright. We've got Gwai here's 3 attacks to the Troll Chieftain's 2. Sorry, um, to the Troll Chieftain's 3. I will call a Heroic Strike. So Gwai here will counter. They'll both burn a Might. We'll see what their fight values go up to. Keep. Okay. So Gwai here is fight lots more than 10. And I'm fight 10 as well. So we're tied at fight 10. Gwai here's Elven Beak is going to make him win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, off camera. Bad dice. I got a 4 on Gwai here. I got him. Troll Chieftain's got a 6. So 
I think Goyer's just going to let that go. Otherwise, he'd have to burn his two last might to be able to match that up. So Goyer loses this fight. Uh, defense eight, strength seven. I will actually rend so that I need fours to wound you instead of fives. And that is two. I will not blow my last might. Mm -hmm. Just two wounds. Now, the reason that worked is because when he rends, he's he's striking against Guayir's strength, which is the same as his. So he can wound on fours instead of having to wound on five. So that's two wounds. Guayir had three wounds and three fate. We'll burn one fate for starters and see how this does. Gets a three, so he's going to fail one fate. We'll burn one more. Let's we'll see how he does on this one. Two terrible rolls. So Guayir takes two wounds and burns two fate. He's got one wound and one fate left. That's not great. <laughs> Should almost have burned a mite to make sure that he didn't do that. Oh well. We'll see how this works out. Come on, go here. Priority. Two. Five to the trolls, two. All so yours. Boy here wins priority. Courage check. Not Snake Eyes. Yes, he's much braver this turn, so he's going in on a courage of lots. Bang. Ah, uh, my Heroics. last. Yep, yeah, my last might to heroic strike. Go here's going to counter. So we'll roll off for the heroic strikes. Go here is not fight 10. Ooh, that could be bad. That could be bad. Let's see what happens. Three dice on Gway here. Uh, I get Lots a of sixes. five, and I have no might left. I only have two might. So the troll is knocked prone. Goy here uh, is going to do double no, strikes. No, it is not. Cause oh, because they're the same strength right now. Yeah. Nope, he's almost knocked prone. Lucky bugger troll that he is. All right, so here's three strikes at strength seven. You would That's be rending. That's a five. No, no, wait a minute. Strength seven, why would he rent? Yeah, uh, he because, would. The same yeah. deal as before, because he's defense eight, he's strength seven, so he would be rending so that he can wound him on force. That'll be two wounds. Uh, Troll Chieftain will just take both wounds. He's got three wounds and how many fate? One fate. So he is down so to one wound, one fate. They're both at one wound and one fate. All right, priority. Gwaihir has one uh. might left. Fails, which means that Gwaihir is not going to go first unless I burn my last might on a heroic move. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he'll do it. So he's going to go first. Courage check. He's very courageous this turn. So Gwai here is going to charge, which means he gets his extra dice on the combat. Everybody's at a might. Gwai here's got the higher fight value. And rolls the six. So Gwai here wins. Make three rending strikes, needing fours to cause wounds. And here's two wounds. That'll take out the troll's fate. Rolls his fate. Okay, so he yeah, passes, passes fate, but he's still fate and he dies anyway. <laughs> Gwai here is triumphant. Yay. Who saw that? <laughs> so, big surprise. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, Gwai here is going to move on. The Troll Chieftain is out, and we will see Gwai here into the next round of Monster Mash with Eric Quinn Caledrum. Hope you had fun. Uh, we're having lots of fun with these. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we will be back in a few days with another video. Thanks so much. Take care.